Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Hold on, you said who are the Gentiles? All right, give me first Corinthians 12 and 2. We're going to show you, all right? Hey, check this out. This is how we're going to do it. You ask the question, so be patient. I'm going to let you talk. Listen to what I'm saying. You just asked who the Gentiles are, right? Are you asking who the Gentiles are? Man, you're a reprobate, man. Read what you got. First Corinthians. Hey, check this out. Check this out. Give me uh, Sirach 11 and uh, 6. Hey, real quick. Are you going to deal with me like a man? Because I'll talk to you. I'll let you speak and then I speak. I just said I'll let you speak. Okay, bet. All right, so you asked who the Gentiles are, right? All right, I'll deal with you. Give me that first. You know what I want. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 6. Uh, 8. Verse 8. Listen. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause. It says, answer not before thou hast heard the cause. Read. Neither interpret men. Read it correctly. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. It says, neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. I'm not done. I'm not done, so stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. Read the verse again. Answer not before thou hast heard the call. Read. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. So I will, I will sit here and I will let you ask your question, and then you need to let me answer you. Will you agree to that? Will you agree to that, yes or no? Will you agree to that, yes or no? Read it again. Answer none before thou hast heard the call. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. So my question is, I will answer your question. I will give you time to ask it. I have no problem with that. But I'm asking you, will you let me answer you without you interrupting me? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Give me that Matthew 5. Absolutely. I have no problem, but can you answer my question? I am. I'm asking you, will you shut the hell up and let me speak? Alright, read what you got. First Corinthians 12. So give me my mic. This guy's ridiculous. Sorry, you just this guy's ridiculous. First Corinthians 12 and 2. Read it. The book of First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. Watch this. We are showing who the Gentiles are in the Bible. Watch this. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. So the Bible says, start at verse 1. Watch this. Verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. So the Bible says to the church of Corinth, who's speaking to the apostle Paul? He's saying, ye were Gentiles. So check this out. Can you used to be a certain nationality and transfer to another one? Absolutely not. Read it again. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Unto these dumb idols. This simply means the northern kingdom of Israel began to live or behave as Gentiles. Right. And we're going to show you that. Give me Hosea chapter 4 verse 17. Hosea chapter 4 verse 17. All right, watch this. If you sit there for just a few minutes, you're going to learn something. But if you just listening to respond, you ain't going to learn a damn thing. Read what you got. Hosea chapter 4, the Bible says, damn, get over it. Give me 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 12. I'll show you that the Bible says, damn. And let's see if you got a problem with it still. Read what you got. Show me in the Bible that saying damn is a sin. You have no scripture. Be quiet. Read it. Can I get a, come on. 2 Thessalonians 2. I need you, come on. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 12. Come on. That they all might be damned. That they all might be what? Be damned. Be what? Be damned. Be what? Be damned. So 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. First Peter chapter 4, verse 11. Watch this. The book of First Peter. Chapter 4, verse 11. This is what you got to do. You got to make sure that everything you say comes out of the Bible. Read the verse. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. And that's what we are doing today. We are speaking the oracles of God. What are we doing? We're showing who the Gentiles are according to the scriptures. Give me 1 Corinthians 12 and 2 again for my brother and sister that are listening. Watch this. 
The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12 and verse 2. Watch this, watch this. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. So the Bible says to the church of Corinth that ye know that ye were Gentiles. Watch this. Carried away unto these dumb idols. Carried away to these dumb idols. So the back history on this was the northern kingdom of Israel went off into idolatry and began to serve false gods other than the most high God of Israel. Give me uh, Hosea 4.17. Hosea chapter 4 verse 17. The book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 17. Watch this. Ephraim is joined to idol. Ephraim is joined unto idols. Quick question. Where's the, where's the side? Right here. So you see Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and Ephraim. Ephraim would be the so-called Puerto Ricans today. I did let him talk. You just came. Bro, bro, you just came up. You wasn't here before. Yeah, I let him talk. I, I let him talk. I let him talk. Do you have a question? Do you have a question? Right. All right. So let me ask you this. If I read a scripture and I ask him yes or no, and he just won't answer, how should I... I guess it's a yes or no question. All right, watch this. I'll show you. Give me Sirach 11 and 8. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to I'm gonna do the same thing I did before, my man. I'm not out here for competition. I'm out here to reach my people. Watch this. The book of Sirach, chapter 11 and verse 8. It's a close. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. So I'm going to ask the same question. The Bible says not to interrupt men in the midst of their talk. So I said, I will let you ask your question, right? And I said, I'll be quiet. I said, will you let me answer you without interrupting me? All right, so I'll do it again. Will you let me answer without interrupting me? Absolutely. That didn't happen before. You understand? That didn't happen before. All right, so ask your question. Ask your question. Do, do you see what he's doing? Are you going to ask your question? So do you want us to answer your first question or this one? Where, where are you reading from so they can reference? Romans 9 and what? I, I was already there. I'm moving. I'm moving. Verse 30, alright. What shall we say then? That the Gentiles who follow not after righteousness have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. But Israel, you're Israel, right? Which followed not after the law of righteousness, has not attained unto the law of righteousness. Why? Wherefore, right? Because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law. For they stumbled at that stumbling stone. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, that whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. It makes no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Okay, now let him. Brother, the gospel is discriminating against white people. I'm just going to be honest. Okay, let him answer so I can understand. You with me? So I can answer that, right? Yeah, I'm done. All right, but so he wants the understanding of Romans 9.30 on down, right? So we're going to go to Romans the 11th chapter. We're going to give him the understanding, okay? You got to walk? Read it. The book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 11. Yeah. I say then, had they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. So it says, had they stumbled that they should fall. Who is the they? This is talking about the circumcision, which is the southern kingdom of the nation of Israel. You know, God forbid, but rather... Through their fall, through their fall, meaning what? They rejected Christ. That's what they did. They rejected Christ. Read. Salvation. We're in Romans chapter 11, verse 11, right? All right, listen up. Salvation is come unto the Gentiles. Salvation has come unto the Gentiles. So now we're going to continue to read down to get an understanding on who the Gentiles are in Romans. Okay? We know. For to provoke them to jealousy. To provoke who? To provoke them to jealousy. To provoke them to jealousy. Who's the them? Bring it up. You say that you're Israel, right? You see that? Provoking you Sir, Israel. did you see that I asked who's the them? Right? So that would... So he said you. He said you're Israel. Yeah. I know I'm Israel. I'm asking yeah. who's the them right there. Who's Israel? He you said you're Israel. Right? That is... To you, provoke you to jealousy. Right. No, that is going into the southern kingdom. I'm going to show you. Give me uh, Zechariah 12 and 7. 
I'm going to show you. Watch this. Give me Zechariah chapter 12, verse 7. I'm going to show you precept upon precept. You got to be patient. Read it. The book of Zechariah, chapter 12 and verse 7. Come on. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first. See? That the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. Do not magnify themselves against Judah. Judah is the southern kingdom right here. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. That makes up the southern kingdom of Israel. So he came unto them first. But they did what? They rejected him. Give me that in uh, John 8 and 31. Give me that in John 8 31 real quick. I'm going to show you. We're going to show you. That's saith the Lord. Read that. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 31. Then Jesus. No, give me Mark 8 31. Sorry, Mark 8 31. Watch this. The book of Mark, chapter 8 and verse 31. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things. Read. And be rejected. And be what? And be rejected. Read. Of the elders. Uh huh. And of the chief priests. Uh huh. And scribes. Read. And be killed. And after three days rise again. So what is he talking about? He appeared unto the southern kingdom first, but they did what? They rejected him. Hey. Let's go back to Romans 11. I think he's at 12. Come on. The book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 12. Read. Now if the fall of them be the... Who's the fall of them? The fall of the southern kingdom of Israel. Read. Be the riches of the world uh -huh. and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles. The riches of the Gentiles, talking about the northern kingdom of Israel. Read. How much more their fullness. Read. For I speak to you Gentiles. Inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles. That was Paul's ministry. He was the apostle unto the Gentiles. We do I magnify mine office. We do If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh and might save some of them. Meaning what? Paul said, I'm not going to deal with the southern kingdom anymore. I'm going to deal with the northern kingdom to provoke the southern kingdom to repentance. We do Verse 15. Watch this. For if they casting away of them. The casting away. The casting away. Give me Hosea chapter 9 verse 17. Bring it up. The casting away of them. What's this talking about? What's the deal that's talking about? Watch this. Read it. The book of Hosea chapter 9 and verse 17. My God will cast them away. Wait, wait a minute. Read it again. My God will cast them away. Read. Because they did not hearken unto him. Who's the them? Jump to verse 15. Verse 15. All their wickedness is in Gilgal. And for there I hated them. For the wickedness of their doings, I will drive them out of mine house. Read. I will love them no more. All their princes are revolters. Ephraim is smitten. Ephraim is smitten. Wait a minute. Ephraim is right here on the 12 tribes chart. Right. Right. Ephraim is one of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. We right. right. do their root is dried up. Their root is dried up. Come on. They shall bear no fruit. They shall bear no righteous fruit. Watch this. Yea, though they bring forth, yet will I slay even the beloved fruit of their womb. Because they sinned against God, God said he would destroy their offspring. Read. Yes. My God will cast them away. My God will do what? Cast them away. Let's go back to Romans 11 and see who was cast away. Read it again. The book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 15. For if the casting away. For the what? For if the casting away. For the what? For if the casting away. For the what? For if the casting away. Who of them? Who of them? The northern kingdom of Israel. The be the reconciling of the world. The reconciling of the nation of Israel. No longer would it be two nations. Now northern kingdom and southern kingdom will become one nation. What shall the receiving of them be? Read. But life from the dead. Watch this. We're going to read on to make it even more plain. Read. I will. I'm not done yet. Read. For if the first fruit be holy, the first fruit be holy, read. The lump is also holy. Read on. And if the root be holy, come on. So are the branches. So are the branches. If Christ is holy, so are we. He's going to be the king that's going to unite us together. Read. Verse 17. Watch this. And if some of the branches, some of the what? 
some of the branches Reed, be broken be off. What? Be broken off. Some of those branches. Give me Jeremiah 11 and 16. Some of those branches. We got to deal with it. We got to deal with what the Bible says, man. Like this. Watch this. Right here, Jeremiah 11 16. I'm, Listen I up. Listen here. up. It tells you what it means. I'll deal with you, but let me finish. No, 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 no. Let me finish. The Tell book of Jeremiah, chapter 11 and verse 16. Come on. The Lord called thy name. Whose name? Thy name. Read. A green olive tree. Uh, God called us a green olive tree. Read. There and of goodly fruit. There and of goodly fruit. He wanted us to be the righteous on the earth to set an example for all of the nations. Read. With the noise of a great tumult, Come on. he has kindled fire upon it. He has kindled fire upon it because why? We became a degenerate plant. We went off and we went against the plan of the Most High God. Read. And the branches and the what? And the branches and the what? And the branches Read. of it are broken. Are what? Are broken. Are broken. So we got to find out who these broken branches are. Read. For the Lord of hosts that planted evil, planted thee, have pronounced evil against thee. Read. For the evil of the house of Israel. For the evil of the house of who? For the yeah. evil of the house of Israel. Read. And of the house of Judah. So let's go back to Romans 11. So we can find out who the broken branches are. Romans Read. Romans, Romans chapter 11 verse 17 Come on And if some of the branches be broken off Some of those branches, those are the Israelites They were broken off, why? Because they began to follow idols They began to follow after the other nations Read. Being a wild olive tree Being a what? Being a wild olive tree He told us he, we was a fair olive tree But we became wild when we began to follow after other gods Read. What craft in What what? Craft in So the the only people that can be crafted in is the same people that were before. That's right. And that's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. That's right. Right. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 8. Right. What y'all don't know right. is that this Bible is for you. Right. Right. This Bible is not for all nations. Right. Right. God only loves you black man. That's, that's right. right. That's saith the Lord. Read it. The that's book of that's Hebrews that's chapter that's 8 and verse 8. What God God loves all for finding fault with God them. He saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord. It says, The days come, saith the Most High God of Israel. Read. When I will make a new covenant. I will make a what? A new covenant. Read. With the house of Israel. With the house of who? With the house of Israel. Read. And with the house of Judah. So, hey, you stay right there. I got a question for you. How do we get salvation, my brother? I'm standing right here in Romans 11. You How do we get salvation? It tells you who, who, who is cast away. Yeah, the children you, of Abraham. Hey, yelling. How, how do we get saved, bro? We're all the children of Abraham right here. He says, I can't hear you. Come on closer. Also, I am an Israelite, the seed of Abraham. The hey, how do we get salvation? Hey, man. All, all these What's going on, boss? Abraham. And he says they're cast What's away. What's going on, boss, man? I ain't going to hurt you. How do we get salvation, bro? God. You say what? Exactly what it means. You say according to God? Well, the context is right By here. coming to God. All right. Can we come as we are? Okay. What scripture says that? Listen, this is a false gospel. I'm sorry, but this is... That's why I asked you that. Yeah, that's why I asked you that question. All right, salvation, give me Acts 5 and 31. I'm going to show you who salvation is for, my brother. Okay? And I'm going to show you how to attain that salvation. All right, watch this. The book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 31. Come on. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. For to give repentance to Israel, read. And forgiveness of sin. So understand this. When it comes to salvation, he is only the savior of Israel. Meaning hey, what? Salvation is only for the Israelites. Let me read that 68. Because you have to understand this, my brother. When it comes to all of the different nations on the earth, think about it. Who are the ones who need saving? Think about it. Who are the ones who need saving, my brother? Is it the so-called white man? Or is it the Chinese? Do they need to be saved? Exactly. So who are the ones being oppressed? Who are the ones who are in the lowest state? It'll be us, right? Exactly. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Bring it up. The book of Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Come on. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. Who are God's people? Bring it up. 
Who is us? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right! Right according to the Bible. Read on. And has raised up and hold of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. And that's what I was teaching him. That hold of salvation is Christ. He's the only reason we get another chance at redemption. Right. Read. Which have been since the world began. Read. That we should be saved from our enemies. Nehemiah 5 and 9. So let me ask you this. Do we have enemies, my brother? Yeah, Who? Name some, some of our enemies. Don't be scared, bro. All right, name some of our enemies, all right? Well, if it means the so-called white man, that's exactly right. And the reason why he's doing that is because the white man's high hill. That's why he can't understand the Bible. That's why he's combating, because he's doing his master's business. That's what he's doing. You got what I want? Read that. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 5 and verse 9. Come on. Also I said, it is not good that ye do. Ought ye not to walk in the fear of our God because of the reproach of the heathen, our enemies? Right, the heathen, every nation outside of the nation of Israel is our enemy. That's right. So this is the thing, bro. You have to understand this. Psalms 147 and uh, 19. You got to understand this, bro. God did not give his laws to everybody. God only gave his laws to one nation of people. And he chose us. That's a special thing right there. He made all of these different nations, kindreds, and tongues, but he chose one people. And that's the nation of Israel, my brother. Read this. He showed his word unto Jacob. Come on. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. That's to us. That's love right there, my brother. That means what we still got a chance. Even if we was living simply before, we got a chance at redemption. Read on. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He hath not dealt so with anybody outside of the nation of Israel. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.